Hi guys and welcome to DIY Ideas and welcome again to a little test video. I have a Tunisian um, crocheting hook here and this is one that um, is the same size that I usually use. This is the number six and this also is a number six. But they do look different. This one's a little longer, the technique is a little different. And I'm gonna show you exactly what the differences are in a minute. You can almost, uh, it's called Knit Pro, it's almost kind of like knitting. And um, this is the hook, it's made from plastic. And here at the very bottom, you kind of have a thread here, like um, kind of from a screw. It's kind of like knitting because you're gonna have a few different loops on the hook. And here at the very bottom, that's um, the metal part. It's compatible with this here, which is meant for knitting. It has these, um, yeah, kind of like these threads from, from screws. And so I'm gonna show you, and um, you can take this off here. And then in theory, you can connect two crocheting hooks um, together. So that's the connection. There's, this one is a pretty thin band. There's uh, very different sizes. Um, this is, a, these little holes are for little, um, little pins where you can make it really nice and tight. Um, and this is great for um, round crocheting uh, to make little hats or something like that. And you can um, take one end um, or both depending. Um, you can close this off with this little, little stoppers here, which I'm putting on again right now so that it doesn't fall off um, and maybe you want to use the crocheting hook for another project at the same time and so you can close this off like this and so i'm going to actually keep this closed because i'm going to need only one side of this and the other side i'm going to connect here to the crocheting hook so i'm going to put this on and connect this here just like this you can see it's very thin very very yeah, I don't know, small little little threads. And it's easy to put on. It's pretty pretty tight on there, I would say. You could put this little pin in this so that it's nice and tight. And um, it's very similar to um, this little stoppers and they're always in the same package. So this is my wool that I have here. This is, that's great for the size six crocheting hook. I'm gonna see here how, how this works with this technique, how this works, um, how I like it. And yeah, so. I have before um, crocheted in the Tunisian style a little bit a few years ago, but you know, I'm not a pro. I'm going to show you here um, the basic movements. So I'm going to start with some chain stitches here. I'm going to do maybe 15 here. This is the same um, as you would do it in any other, with any other crocheting hook. Um, there's nothing, nothing else going on here. It's the same way. Six, we have seven. Eight, nine, oh, nine, ten. Okay, so I did ten so far. I have a little problem here that I kind of have the, the little thread down there um, going over the table. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. What's interesting here with this um, system is that you can have these bands here at the bottom and um, you don't have to have a band for every needle. You always have the needle size that you want. Um, and then you usually buy like some sets, you know, usually you, you buy maybe 10, 10 different needles um, with a little button and the little thread uh, or the connector piece. And the, they are, um, yeah, not as stable maybe. And uh, you can take this one off, obviously, and just put it onto another and also store it, store it really easily, which I like a lot. And so here we are with our 15 chain stitches. And for now, there's no big difference, obviously, to regular crocheting, but now it's going to get interesting. And now we're going to have these different threads on the, on the hook. And so I'm going to take this hook. I skip the first stitch and I go into the second one, I take the thread and I now have two on the hook, I'm going to leave it there. Then I go into the next one, I pull the thread, have the um, thread on the hook and I leave it there. And so I'm going to continue doing this. Um, I always poke into the stitch, pull the thread through and leave it on the hook. Just like that. 
and poke through, pull the thread and leave it there. Poke through, pull the thread and leave it on the hook. Just like that. And you can see that um, I have this whole row of stitches here on my hook, uh, which is really interesting. It's kind of like knitting, but not. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Almost done with this row. And then here we are at the last little bit. And this is the last stitch. All right, so now we have all 15 of these um, of these stitches on the hook. And then I take, I do one chain stitch here. So I take the thread, I pull it through the first little stitch here that's on the hook, just a regular chain stitch. And then we go backwards. And so I did the chain stitch and then I, um, this time I'm going to take the thread and pull it through two of these little stitches. Okay. And then, um, we have already one less on the, on the hook. I'm going to take the thread and I pull it through two again. Get the thread, pull it through two loops and come back out. Get the thread, pull it through two loops and then take it out. And I'm going to continue doing this here all the way back. And I'm going to continue doing this until I'm back at the end. This one through two. And again, we have two left and now we're at the very end. And here we are with the first row and we're done. You can see it has these, yeah, these vertical um, threads here. This is for the most classic, the most typical pattern um, for Tunisian crocheting. I'm gonna take some more thread here and then I continue with the next row. So for this first one, we already have the thread on the hook. And so I just go into the next stitch here Pull the thread um, and the next one, exactly the same. I go into the stitch and pull the thread. And so you just leave them on the hook. I know uh, if you're very used to regular crocheting, um, this is very different. And you might feel the urge to just uh, do it as you're used to. But um, yeah, so always the, the stitch just stays on the hook until the next row. So poke through, pull the thread, leave it on. Poke through pull the thread and leave it on. Poke through, pull the thread and leave it on there. Just like that. And here we are at the end of this row. Okay, so here we are again with the 15 stitches on the hook. And it's really important to add the chain stitch here at the, uh, for the new row. And then we can go backwards again. So we pull the thread and pull it through two of these little loops. Pull the thread and pull through two. And here again, pull the thread and pull through two of the loops. Here again. And again. Take your crocheting hook, take the thread and pull it through two of the little loops that were before on your hook. And here we are at the very end again, and we are done. And you can see here, this is what it looks like. Um, it's relatively easy to be honest and um, i think this system works really really well and the little stopper at the end is um is great and it's staying on my crocheting hook really really easily um i'm going to continue crocheting this for a few more rows and i'm going to show you an update in a little bit 
All right, guys, so this is my update. As you can see, um, this is what it looks like. This is what the pattern looks like after a few more rows. You can see the beautiful color fade here. Um, the most important thing here is when you go backwards that you add um, that you add a chain stitch after the row and then go back. Um, and so if you skip this chain stitch here at the end, um, you're gonna basically decrease with every row by one crochet. So it's just gonna turn into a triangle at some point. <laughs> Um, but I think this looks so cute. Um, this is the back side. This is what it looks like here. It looks like, yeah, like knitted almost. Um, and the technique, you know, is very similar to knitting, but works super well with this technique and with the little stopper and the little band at the bottom. So if you're doing this for a blanket, for example, you just have a lot more space. And if you're maybe doing 50 centimeters, you can have all these little um, stitches on the hook without a problem. Um, and you can obviously always switch the bands for something longer or shorter. And yeah, thank you guys for watching DIY Ideas. I hope you liked this video. If you would like to watch more, please visit my channel and subscribe for free. Please share this video with your friends and see you next time.